Okay, dinner this evening is Mongolian beef. I have been in such a peach tea kick, so we are gonna drink one of these. Welcome back to another video. So we are doing a week in my life today. I'm starting it in the evening because you're just gonna see me doing the same thing basically all week because all I do is go to work. So I came home and cooked dinner. We had Mongolian beef today. And then after I cleaned up the kitchen, mopped a little bit and just kind of got settled for the evening, I had to do some stuff on my laptop. And now it is 10 p.m. So I actually am about to get in bed, but I was like, let me just talk to you guys really quick for a little bit. I made a London fog. I just kind of showed you guys how I do it. So basically I steep some tea and then in my frother, I will put like milk and creamer or I will put milk and vanilla bean paste. Typically what I've been doing was vanilla bean paste, but I just did a little bit of creamer because I just felt like it. Or if you're someone that prefers to not have it sweetened at all you don't have to put any sweetener and you can just froth some milk and that's how you get this effect but yeah i just wanted a cozy drink for the night so i made that and i'm about to get into bed our dinner was pretty late today we didn't eat till like seven which for me is late i usually like to eat dinner around six ish but i went to pilates from 5 30 to 6 30 and i've been meaning to update you guys on my thoughts on it because i said i would and then i realized i never did so far being pregnant i'm really liking pilates because it's some like i don't want to go to the gym and do things i'm not supposed to do or like overwork myself i don't know i feel like pilates is like a low intensity workout I hear that it's amazing for pregnant people and kind of preparing for birth and stuff and you know you work out different muscles of your body than you would kind of go to the gym and just like lifting weights so so far I'm liking it I don't know if I would do it after I have my baby I think I feel like I would just go back to the gym because I would want to do more like weightlifting and regular like cardio and stuff like that and the thing with Pilates like I have to sign up for a class for Sunday like a whole week or two before because there's always a wait list and it's just it's so hard to do that because I'm like I don't know my schedule in a week or sometimes I'm like oh I want to go like randomly like this evening and I know especially with a kid like I can't predict what my week is gonna look like or I can't book a workout class a week in advance like I just don't know what comes up so yeah I am really loving it though it's such a nice workout I just go in and out within an hour but it just sucks that I have to book classes so far in advance Whew, oh my goodness <laughs> good morning you guys it is what day is it? It is Tuesday morning. Um, I am actually, I woke up early, finally. I've been getting up, like I told you guys, I have been just getting up so late for work and then I'm rushing out of the house, blah, blah, blah. I usually have been getting up around like 6.30. I leave my house at seven. But today I got up at 6.15, I got dressed. Um, I'm about to make a drink, um, prep my breakfast and we will go. After school, I have a Pilates class. So I'm kind of wearing like what I'm gonna wear to Pilates under this outfit because it's literally right after school. So I have to leave school immediately, go to the workout class. So I was smart and I just wore my Pilates outfit under my school outfit. So I would just take this off. I feel like I go through phases with smoothies. Right now I'm in like a strawberry banana smoothie phase before I was in like a mixed berry smoothie phase. Um, so yeah, it's so cute. And then I was at a coffee shop last weekend and they had these little heart straws. I don't know if you can see, but it's in the shape of a heart. I actually took like 20. <laughs> and just so cute. Okay, I don't have the healthiest lunch today for school. It's literally the ramen noodles. So my breakfast, I decided to make it a little more filling. I did the strawberry smoothie I showed you guys, and then I just made two like egg toasts. All right, let's get this Tuesday started. I have my lamps on. I love them. They give such like calm vibes in here and just the windows. And I just love the school I work at. I'm so thankful to be here. Got my water, got my smoothie, and we are ready to take on the day. Okay, it is my lunch break, and I literally just made ramen noodles. I boiled water in the kettle and and yeah, I'm so excited. I always look like a train wreck at the end of every day. I swear it literally looks like 
I came out of a war. And you know what? That's really what it's like. The weather though where I live has been so beautiful. Lady anyways, four o'clock. Actually, it's not four o'clock. I left work at like 3.50. I never stay till four. The second my last kid leaves, I'm out of there. Like what, why, why would I stay? Like it doesn't make sense. Anyways, I am going to my Pilates class right now. And honestly, I would cancel, but I would get charged $15 if I cancel right now, just because the class is in like 30 minutes. So I can't cancel. So I'm forced to go, which is a good thing. But like, I'm just saying I wouldn't go if I could. Okay, you guys got home from Pilates. It is 6 p.m. right now. I got home at like 5.30, but it's 6 p.m. by the time I kind of prep the chicken and stuff for what we're cooking today. So we are having chicken tandoori bowls. One of my friends showed me this recipe and it's actually Moribian's recipe. If you guys know her, she's like the hijabi cook. On TikTok and Instagram, this is her recipe. So you can jump over there if you wanna try it. I, we just love it. It's literally like a Mediterranean chipotle kind of. It's basically just rice tandoori chicken and you put like onions, lime, and I think cucumber. So the problem is right now I can't find the recipe. I don't have it written anywhere and I can't find it online. I don't know why, but I'm just making it based on how I remember. So I have leftover rice from yesterday. I made a big amount to save because I knew we were going to use rice again today. So I was like, let me just make double the amount, use it for today, save some of my time. As of the chicken marinade, this is what it looks like. It's basically just plain yogurt. I did a like tandoori seasoning, lime, ginger, garlic, black peppers, a little bit of paprika, and a little bit of chicken bouillon seasoning, and I mix that all up. Now, is that the exact recipe? No. Oh, and cumin. But that's just what I could remember off the top of my head. I prepped onion, lime, and I'm about to get out cucumber as well, and this is gonna be for the toppings. And yeah, I'm about to cook it, and we will eat. Well, I made this like yogurt, cilantro, jalapeno sauce, and it has like lemon, salt, and I blended it up to be like the green yogurt sauce with it. That goes on top, and then the chicken is cooking. Okay, you guys, this is the final result. It is rice, the chicken, and then some cucumbers, lime, and onions on top with the yogurt sauce. Okay, we ate dinner, dishes are done. It is time to turn the dishwasher on. Okay, you guys, we ate dinner, and I just, I don't know, I was craving an iced coffee out of nowhere, so I'm having one at 7.45 p.m., because why not? After dinner, I also showered, started the dishwasher, and now I just relax for the rest of the evening. Maybe I'm, like, the only person that thinks this, but I swear I have, like, certain types of ice for certain things. So, like, like iced coffees, iced tea, stuff like that. I like to use, like, this cubed ice, and then I have, like, my circle balls of ice, and then regular ice. I don't know. I feel like I, they make the biggest difference in, like, the flavor of a drink. I almost want to say it's, like, pastas. Like, I, I have certain pastas for certain things. Like, I'm not going to make spaghetti and use, like, penne. Like, I usually think that's weird, you know? I, I don't know. I have certain pastas for, like, certain kind of meals, and I think the same goes for ice. Yummy! Another thing is just glass cups. I cannot enjoy a drink if it's not out of a glass cup with a glass straw. Again, another thing that makes, like, drinks taste so much better. If you guys saw my cup collection, like, I mean, literally look at this. I have so many different kinds of cups for different things up there, like, and they all just make drinks taste so much better, I swear. I have a cup obsession. <laughs> this is my vibe. I'm just catching up on some YouTube videos, enjoying my drink on the couch. Cozy in a blanket, kitchen is clean, candles on, this is it. Good morning, you guys. It is six, it is seven, so I need to leave like right now, but I'm gonna show you guys what I did really quick. I made a iced coffee. I don't really have a lunch, so I just quickly threw some stuff together. I'm basically gonna take these uh, frozen chicken nuggets, an apple, mac and cheese, that's my lunch right there. And then usually after like an hour getting to school, I get hungry, so I just made like a quick sandwich. Good morning, you guys. Just got to work. I'm wearing like this sweater thing with a white shirt under and then leggings and boots. Yeah, it's just like a really long sweater dress kind of thing. It's kind of cold today. It's been warm the last two days, but yeah, so it's kind of chilly. Getting my lunch out and just getting settled in before the kids get here. Have a beautiful day. By the way, I have an appointment after school today, a ultrasound. So I'll see you guys there. Okay, you guys, it is the end of the day and we are leaving now. I am about to head out and go to my baby appointment. So I will let you guys know how that goes. Hi, you guys. It is five o'clock right now. I left the doctor's office, left work, left the doctor's office and <gasps> little Mimi. She was like holding her arm up in the pictures. It was so cute. These little ultrasounds are adorable. Alhamdulillah, everything looks good. That's the most important part is that she is healthy. 
I am on my way to my parents' house right now for dinner. My mom is making me'lube. So excited. That's one of my favorites. So this is what it looks like when I come home from my mom's house. I went to her house at like five right after work and I was just so uncomfortable in my work clothes. So I took a t-shirt, I took a robe, like I get so comfy. And yeah, she can just get these back next time I go there. So I also, ugh, this is why I love going to my mom's house. I also got my lunch and my husband's lunch for tomorrow. I just obviously packed the leftover metlube and that's what we're gonna have for lunches. So thank God that's taken care of because I did not have a lunch today. I mean, I did, it was the dino nuggets and mac and cheese, but like, what kind of lunch is that, you know? Yesterday I didn't have a lunch because we didn't have leftovers from dinner. So it's just been um, chaos and we have been hungry, me and her. So thankfully I have some at Nube. Good morning, you guys. It is Thursday morning. It is 6.34 right now, which you know what? Like I should really go get dressed, but you know what, it's okay. I just made myself a London fog this morning. I am sipping on this next to my cute little Ramadan candles. It is so cute. So glad tomorrow's Friday. We're nearing the end of the week. We have a wedding this weekend, so that's gonna be really fun. Let me tell you guys, last night after I came home from my parents' house, it was maybe 8 p.m. on Wednesdays. I like to like clean, clean obviously I deep clean on like Saturdays and Sundays, whichever day I'm free. And then I like to do like a midweek touch up on Wednesdays. So on Wednesdays, like I'll go around and vacuum the whole house or my husband will if he gets a chance. I will clean the bathroom. So like I'll spray down the counters, wipe the counters. I'll change the sink towels. I'll wipe down like our dressers in our bedroom. I'll kind of like dust things down really, really quickly. It's not any deep cleaning. Like I don't go dust those shelves or anything like that. Just our bedroom because we're in there a lot. I wipe down the shelves. I clean the bathrooms. I clean the guest bathroom. I vacuum the whole house. And I just kind of make sure like the dishes are done. Um, put any laundry all in the laundry room. Just so when the weekend comes around, like it's not that bad. And there's not that much to clean. You guys, I am 20 weeks today. So let me show you what it's looking like. I feel like I'm finally starting to like pop. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a bump now. Like it's so... It's so cute and I can't wait to style it with like summer dresses and little sweaters and today's kind of cold So I'm gonna wear like a dress with like a like kind of like a, a short sweater in the front to kind of show the bump a little bit It's still obviously small. I'm 20 weeks, but um, you know, it's just cute that it's finally showing I'm not gonna lie the body changes are very like awkward right now being at 20 weeks You know, I'm not like I'm not I'm not like 30 weeks yet to where it's like a really big bump. Like right now, none of my clothes really fit me. They're all awkwardly tight and they don't, just don't look good on me. I don't hate my body or anything. It's just different. Like it's a little awkward. I'm in a very awkward phase right now with the things I wear. And it's like right now I don't want to buy new clothes because I still have the second half of my pregnancy. I probably won't fit in the clothes I buy right now later anyway. So yeah, it's just very awkward. My jeans don't really fit. My pants don't fit. Shirts are getting like shorter and it's just, it's, it's difficult. 6.40, I'm gonna go get dressed, go to work, and I will talk to you there. Okay, good morning, you guys. We are about to start the day. Let me show you my outfit really quick. It's just a black dress with like this little sweater. So yeah. You guys, I have my break right now. It is 12.45. Ugh, I wanna show you. I have been waiting for maybe a month now for this dress to restock. I don't know if you guys have seen this dress. It's from a Instagram page called Esme New York. Looks like this. It's like sheen, metallic-y kind of. I got the pink one. This is purple right here. I got the rose pink. It's so, it is so pretty and I've been waiting for a restock and there's finally a restock. I'm trying to see if there's a picture of the pink one but I bought it, so I'm really excited. I'm thinking to maybe wear it for Eid, hopefully. I don't know if it's too fancy. I'll probably save it for like a wedding or something. Um, I told you guys earlier, I'm 20 weeks today. It's going pretty good for me so far, alhamdulillah. I'm so thankful. Like I have not been having morning sickness or anything like that. Just, I get really tired. And recently I'm more like out of breath. Now what I'm experiencing is I'm out of breath a lot faster. Like when I have days where I have to go to the third floor to pick up the kids from Spanish, I'm like dead. And I've been like chugging water. It's 12 o'clock and I'm like down to here in this thing, which maybe for some people it's normal to drink that much water. But for me, I typically don't drink that much water. So I have been like chugging water. But yeah, I'm also not cooking today because I just don't want to. So 
it's Thursday. I don't cook on Fridays anyway. I don't know. I just don't feel like it. We don't really have meat. I need to go like grocery shop this weekend. Meet my husband. We need to go get like chicken and ground beef and steaks and stuff like that. Um, you know, do our restock. So I'll probably go to Zem Zem, which is my family's restaurant. I forget like we own a restaurant and I can go get food anytime. So that's definitely what I'll be doing for dinner today. You guys, can you hear that? Look at this. What on earth? It is literally, I, I didn't know it was like sleet outside. It's literally raining ice walls right now. There's not even water, it's just ice. What on earth, look at that. It's all fun stuff, but it's just like a lot of back-to-back -back stuff. Um, I'm getting my Okay, you guys, I'm actually leaving right now because I'm gonna get some smoothie bowls with my friends. I ate dinner, I chilled a little bit, and now it's like 6.30. I'm gonna wear my little Amazon Ugg dupes. So yeah. Good morning, you guys. It is Friday morning. We finally made it to the end of the week. This morning, I obviously got dressed, came to school. I filmed a TikTok kind of like setting everything up. I got my water, got my strawberry matcha. Guys, the way I've been chugging water is literally unreal. Ramadan, guys, is so soon. I cannot believe how soon it's coming up. I think it's in less than 10 days. Like, I'm so excited. It's gonna be so amazing and just a nice spiritual cleanse. And yeah, I don't know how much I plan to record here today. Honestly, we'll just see how the day goes, but I will talk to you guys later. Hello, you guys. I just got home from work. It is 4.15. Um, I have a bunch of packages right now. Okay, I have a huge one on the floor that you can't see, but it's a kitchen. I bought my nieces a new kitchen. That's gonna be their, like, little Eid gift. Um that we got them, then some jewelry. Then I got these little like new oil dispensers also. Um, oh, it's so fancy. It, they look like this. Can I take it out? Okay, I'm gonna, we're gonna do this together. I'll show you this later. Now this, I don't know what this is. So we are gonna find out together. gosh i'm so excited it's more ramadan decor from literally my favorite brand the brand is called rasm on instagram and they make like the most modern beautiful ramadan decorations um i'm gonna do a video like decorating my house for ramadan so i don't have anything out to show you guys right now because i was waiting on a few more pieces before i recorded that video this is one of them um let's open it how fun. Abstract, crescent little thing, just such a cute touch. I don't know if I've said it, but the vibe I was going for for Ramadan decorations was like modern, minimal, very simple. I feel like that's hard to find. And this is like the perfect little touch. Okay, you guys, a little update on the evening right now. Friday, obviously. <laughs> It is 6 p.m. and I'm coming to my cousin's house because we are doing like a little girl's hot pot night and she bought like the hot pot stove and the stuff to make hot pot. And I personally am not the biggest hot pot girl, but like they all wanted it. So I'm like, okay, cool, like yes. And probably just chilling for the rest of the evening. Fridays, you know, I like to, honestly, all my weekends, I like to just keep it chill. We got some Chick-fil-A. I got a yogurt parfait. Some, I don't know why, the yogurt parfait at Chick-fil-A is so good. And then I got a chicken biscuit with honey. And this is breakfast. Wraps around, I didn't see that at first. I swear, after eating hot pot yesterday, I woke up and like my face was so puffy. So I'm gonna do this eye mask. It is like a green tea eye mask. I like to put it in, I don't know, I feel like it calms my face down in like deep puffs. So we are gonna do that. I'm doing laundry, I've been cleaning all morning. We ate Chick-fil-A. Later tonight, we are going to a wedding. It's a family wedding. So that's gonna be super fun. Ugh. And I keep these in the fridge. It's so cooling when you put it on your face. I mean, you want an eye mask? Sure. Vanilla or caramel? Oh, this is so cool. One moment. It's dripping everywhere. So I had some family come over yesterday and she brought the prettiest flowers. I'm gonna put these in a jar, a vase, I mean. Here 
Here you go, sir. Thank you. So I bought these little cute new glass things for my oils and I don't really know what. Honestly, I got both options. This came four of them with like these little gold uh, pourer things. You'll see right now when I put it together. And then I have the options of like all these different cooking oils and like balsamic vinegars and soy sauce and stuff. And then I have the option of all these coffee syrups. Um, since I have coffee dispensers already, I'm just gonna do my oils in here and yeah. So let's do it. Okay, I only used three. I don't know what to do with this last one, but I basically put the olive oil here because I feel like I use olive oil the most. And then for the vinegar and the vegetable oil that I did, I just put them in the pantry up here with the rest of the stuff. You guys, I forgot to bring my camera, but I stopped at Walmart for some groceries. Okay, a little bit ago, I went to Walmart on restock, on restock, what am I saying? And restocked on some essentials. I don't think I've ever showed you guys my pantry. Earlier today I did when I put those little bottles, but down here, this all just needs a restock, like my chocolate chips, almonds, granola, oh shoot, I didn't buy granola, it's fine. Anyways, I'm just gonna restock some stuff. Good morning, happy Sunday. I am in the middle of making some breakfast for me and my husband. I'm gonna eat some boiled eggs with some fruit and then I'm making him like a hash brown egg sandwich thing. Yummy, this is my go-to breakfast. Good morning, it is Sunday. Okay, yesterday I think I ended after I was like organizing my pantry and stuff because yesterday we had <clears throat> my husband's cousin's wedding. So that just kind of took up the rest of the evening and I didn't take videos, I know I'm the worst person, but I took some pictures, I'm gonna put them around the screen. It was such a beautiful wedding. Now it is Sunday morning, I just made some breakfast. There's not much going on today. I'm gonna actually show you guys the baby room in a second. Don't expect anything because there's literally zero progress, but I'm gonna show you guys what I have so far, kind of some ideas. Really quick, I wanted to show you guys what I got yesterday. So first of all, I got the cutest little Ramadan basket from my sister-in-law. It has like a candle, a, like a cute mug, dates, and it came with this little mess behind and a little prayer rug that's white and it's so cute in this little like baggy thing. I already opened it, but it came in this baggy in this basket. So cute. And let me tell you guys, I love small businesses, okay? Everything so far in my house that I have for them all done is from small businesses, decor wise. And then recently, I got this package. It is from a cute little boutique, little small business on Instagram. I'm gonna put their username somewhere up here. So first of all, I have this little sign that's gonna go on my door. I, I, small businesses go the extra mile and that's why I just, I love supporting them. And then, so yeah, this is gonna go outside on my door. I'm not gonna fully open it up yet, but basically it looks like this. It says Ramadan Mubarak, and then Salah's family under it. It's black, so it like kind of matches my house. That's all like I thought I was getting, and then she sent me this little banner. It's like moons and stuff. I have to still chain it together. It says Ramadan Mubarak, Ramadan Kareem, <clears throat> moon, stars. It's a cute little banner. And then she also sent me a little Stanley top thing. It's like a little custom thing that says Miss E. But just so sweet, and the cutest little card. So yeah, let's move on to the baby room. So this is the current status of my daughter's room. <laughs> my husband cuts hair for fun, but obviously we're getting rid of that. He got rid of the chair and stuff and we're gonna make it into a cute little baby room. I'm thinking here because of the window, I'm gonna put the dresser and mirror here and then her crib will go over here. I'm gonna paint the whole room white and I kind of wanna do like a very soft pink accent wall where her crib's gonna be. Rocking chair will be over here. 
Her closet has some stuff in it. Again, we're gonna paint the closet too, but I've kind of started organizing like little onesies. Down there is just like stuff I've got in like a bath mat, um, nursing pillow. I don't really know what to do with those yet. I have blankets up here, headbands, bows, all that stuff. So yeah, this is what her closet looks like right now. We'll paint it and things will get organized. I actually have my baby shower date set. So I'm in the middle of like planning my baby shower. I'm due in July. My baby shower is gonna be in May. And I did that because I wanted time to be able to like set up her room, get things done, buy things I need to buy after. And before I'm just so like tired and swollen. <laughs> So yeah, we are doing it in May. I'm so excited, I've started planning. I'm obviously going with like the vintage bows. That's gonna be the theme. So yeah, lots to do, baby room, baby shower, lots of planning. All right, you guys, I am about to edit this YouTube video right now that I'm recording so I can post it. I'm sitting in my little office corner. I'm gonna edit and post it and I will see you guys in the next video.